Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 7 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. There's a zombie pigment in my base. Look, buddy. I can't have you up here, dude. Like, go back to the nether. Sorry, bud, but just, it's not gonna work. Can't, can't be chilling in my, in my mining cave base. Not cool at all, bud. Uh, so... Welcome to the episode, guys. Some pigment just showed up. I don't know where he came from. Probably the nether. But, uh, yeah, that happened. So, um, I want to get started on some stuff today. Uh, clearly, last episode, we did some neat things, right? Uh, we set up a base. A nice little house to live in. Looking good. Actually, looks really good. I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with it. And, um, we checked out the Builder's Wand from Better Builder's Wand. And we checked out, uh, the Swapping Wand from Not Enough Wands. So, that's super cool. Um, today, we might have some more stuff to take a look at. Sneaky wood. Yay. Uh, I think I'd like to continue working on building a base. So that's one of the things I'm gonna work towards. Uh, we might change up a few things. I mean, obviously we've got the swapping wand, which will make it easier for us to swap things around and uh, ideally have a better base. And um, maybe some fancy stuff. Like, I'd probably like to enclose my, my smeltery and my stuff in here inside some kind of room. And then, ideally, we would get to a point where we can have some other stuff. Like, multiple rooms for multiple things. I'd also like to maybe start on a sorting system. But I have to see if I have the resources to do that. Um, there's also the potential to make some other wands. I wouldn't mind having a moving wand, which are super cool. But those require ender pearls, and I haven't gotten those yet. So some things and stuff that I have to work on. So let's call it a base building episode. And I definitely wanna try and make this base look a little bit nicer um, in this little area down here. So I'm gonna do my best to make a nice looking house and we'll see what we can come up with. Deal? All right, we'll be right back once I get some resources. So I'm starting to think about the conceptual design of my house and how I want it to look. Um, I'm thinking this should actually be the back door that might even have a, a kind of a walkway that leads directly to my uh, nifty little mining cave here. That might be cool. So that's something I might want to consider. Um, what I'm probably going to then do is make, if this is the back end of the house, that might even be maybe ore processing and storage of items, at least ore processing and such. Um, and then we could have like more of a front end of the house. So we'll, we'll just do that. So, neat feature, if you didn't know it, of the uh, this lumber axe is it'll break in a 3x3, three three, much like the hammer does. Um, except, you know, it's uh, it's cool. It does things... Uh, it doesn't chop down the whole house it, like it does the wood, right? So, so, I should be able to do... Yeah, I definitely need to upgrade. I kind of want a diamond wand, but at the same time, I don't want a diamond wand. Um, we shall see. I don't want to use the resources for a diamond wand. Let me put it that way. It would be nice if I didn't have to do that. Cool. Um, so I definitely want to do something nice with my house. So this is usually how I like segment out my, my 9 by 9 houses, right? I have like a nice little three block walkway in between the nine by nine segments. So that leaves room for like a little bit of easy transition from one room to the next. Um, and it's very modular, my nine by nine structures. And I wanna try and make them look a little bit nicer this time around, you know, cause I know that's uh, usually the point of contention with my nine by nines is they look ugly, right? Looks like I'm already out of my builder's wand. The iron one doesn't have a lot of durability, which is why I made a new one in preparation. So let's see, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why oh, do I feel like that's too big? You know what I could get is the tape measure from Chisel and Bits. That would probably help to make sure that I didn't miscount. 
So I'm gonna want chisel anyway, so I'm gonna get the chisel thing, but I wouldn't mind some tape measure. That's just gonna require some yellow flour, some iron, and some string. I could probably work that. Just to make sure that I have everything spaced out properly. Uh, have I found any yellow flowers yet? Not really, but a couple string, a little bit of iron. Couldn't hurt to have. Uh, I just need a yellow flower. Think there's any nearby? One would only hope. Yep. Nice. I'm thinking I might also want to get a little bit into Ender.io today. We'll, we'll take a look at the, com the possibilities of doing that. Cool. So, I should be able to, no problem, make a tape measure now. Nice. Alright, so we're going to set this guy to block mode. So holding uh, the Alt key, distance, bit, or block, you can measure in blocks. So if we measure the internal of this, it should be a seven by seven. Sweet, it totally is. I like it, so I did a good job. Not too derpy. Good job, direwolf. I am totally out of wood though. So, and I'm also still trying to figure out how I wanna fancy up this house. So let me get some wood, and then we're gonna look into chisel for how we can make this look a little bit nicer. I want it to be like a wooden house, which is kind of unnatural for me. I don't usually go wood, I usually go cobblestone, but I want to try and make things look a little nicer, and wood just has a little bit of a nicer look to it, I guess. The only downside, of course, is thunderstorm. Could light my house on fire. I guess that would be bad. We'll just have to cross our fingers for no thunderstorms, huh? So, I just made myself a chisel real quick, and I wouldn't mind tossing some oak wood in there and seeing what kind of nice looking stuff we can have. Um, I kind of like the look of these oak wood planks, though these ones look nice too, the braided ones. And it's already getting dark out. I can clear this by just hitting right click, shift right click. Yeah, there we go. That clears that. Let's try to wand of equal trade the dirt with these. Nice. Definitely need more wood. So sleep through the night. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grow those trees with a watering can and get some more wood. There we go. That'll do. Now we're talking. Sweet. So I can open this up, get myself those fancy looking tiles, and should now be able to swap them out. Nice. Wow, did I run out of those already? Crazy how fast you run out of resources. Maybe this is why I always build with cobblestone. It's gotta be the truth. All right, let's just make sure that those wooden tiles haven't spilled outside my house. I wouldn't have expected them to. All right, that's not too bad. Um, oh, cool. It does a silk touch when it does the replace. That's kind of neat. So let's uh, bring this down to a single block so I can swap them out with grass. That's kind of neat. I didn't realize it did that. I assumed it would be like a break thing or something like that, but it's all good. Nice, not bad. All right, now what should I do for the walls here? Um, I'm thinking that we could go with some kind of wood again if we want. Another option might be like cobblestone it up. So, hmm, there's a lot of options for cobblestone. Encased bricks, what do these look like when you place them? So what I like to do when I wanna test stuff is I just real quick swap out the entire wall and then we kinda of see what it looks like. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's really not bad. That might be an option for us. That definitely might be an option for us. Let's try this braided one. Eh, don't know if I like that. So I think I kind of found a cobblestone block texture I like. It looks pretty good, I think. Not bad at all. Um, this one was... In here, it was this guy, bricks. Nice, right? Yeah, I think that looks cool. Now, something nifty for the top that's like a different dish color. I think it should be another type of wood, if I'm being honest. I think a different type of wood up there would be cool. Um, so, oak planks, fancy? I mean, I'm going after fancy stuff, right? So, let's try it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, as for glass, I wouldn't mind swapping these out. Let's talk glass. So I could go 
just like a gray bordered glass. I feel like that would probably work. Yeah, I don't have the right blocks, I know that. But it should have given me my glass back. Nice. So I can get it. Very nice. Doesn't that look good? I like that. Yeah. Might want to swap out the ceiling. We'll see. All right, guys. How's this look? Not terrible? I hope it's not terrible. It's kind of what it is. It is what it is. And it's this. So this probably won't be my actual bedroom. Eventually, this will be either item storage or maybe this will be something else. I don't know. But this could be the main foyer coming in. Or we could have one to the right over here that would be the main foyer. Definitely missed the outer corners of this. I don't have the right block. Shenanigans. I will soon. Close enough. Should totally sleep through the night again. All right, guys. Let's turn this room into a storage room, at least for now. Um, that's going to be an intermediary storage room, probably. Oh, you're showing me the furnace UI? Oh, I don't want that. Sorry, Furnace, but you're going to go over here. You'll probably not exist for long, because eventually I'll have some better furnaces. But for now, this will do. Um, so we'll probably want to break out a few... I can probably go with even more chests than I currently have. I just smelted a bunch of iron that I had from mining. So I should have tons of this stuff, to be honest with you. So let's make, for now, like five iron chests. Does that sound cool? I think that sounds like a plan. What are these? Iron plates from Quark. Okay, cool. Good to know. So we could have three or five iron chests there. So that'll represent our basic storage system. So like, usually I break it out so that like this one, we'll have a chest at the end here that'll represent like our miscellaneous whatever chest. But I'll probably have like blocks, which I'll eventually probably go with storage drawers or something for um but for now this will do as like i usually like to separate out my stone-ish type blocks and my wooden types blocks so we'll do that and over here can be like wood and saplings type of chest this will be metals and this can be coal and non-metallic ore type stuff does that sound like a good plan for organization right now? I think that sounds good, except you guys went in the wrong place. So with that in mind, there's a couple blocks that we can get to automate a sorting system. There's several blocks and several ways to go about it. I'm going to try to see if we can go with the actually additions method of using item laser relays. Item laser relays are pretty cool. I just need to check to see if I have the resources to get what I need. So we're gonna need some advanced coils, which we're probably gonna need a little bit more gold. Uh, we're also going to need energy laser relays for each item laser relay. Oh, that's gonna be expensive. It's two blocks of redstone per two energy laser relays, and those get upgraded to item laser relays. That might be tricky. So that's one way to go. We could also go with um, conduits from Ender.io. Those require ender pearls though. So that's definitely a thing. So two options for item uh, routing. Let's see what my redstone situation is, because I might be all right redstone-wise. You know what? I'm pretty good with redstone. I might be able to pull it off. And considering I've got this awesome hammer that's been doing a great job of mining for me, I think I'm going to try that. So let's look into making item laser relays, because I think... <gasps> Baby Pikmin, why are you here? I don't want pigment in my base. I need to do something about that. I need to, like, block off the border or something so they can't come through. I've never had so much of a problem with pigment coming into my base, I'll tell you. All right, so back to what I was saying. Item laser relays. They can do some cool stuff. And I think we could use this system to get what I want. And nothing else seems too crazy. We do need a little bit more obsidian than we currently have, though, if I want energy laser relays. Not bad. Let's, uh, let's come back in a second. I'm going to mine up some obsidian. Now that I've got this fancy pick that has really good speed on it, I might even speed it up some more. We'll see. But uh, I'm curious to see, you know what I'm going to want is a bucket of water. 
I want to go get some obsidian and uh, see how much faster it is to mine it. So it definitely feels like faster than it was an episode or two back when I was mining it without the cobalt, so that's good. Nice. It should be noticed, by the way, um, that you can't use your swapping wand on cobblestone and obsidian, unfortunately. You'll notice here it gives you the error that the hardness of the block differs too much to swap. So that's a bummer. Well, would you look at that? I found gold under here. Nice. I'll take it. That works. Looks like just one piece of gold, unfortunately, in bedrock, but oh well, still better than nothing. All right, let's get to work, shall we, guys? Uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do, probably, is um, get myself a little bit more by way of the redstone stuff. So I'm going to turn a stack of this into the crystals. Hopefully I have enough RF for it. I think I do. Nice. That'll work. And I'll move that thing inside at some point soonish. In the vicinity of soon. Um, we're going to want some of these. What else are we going to want? We're going to want some of this quartz stuff. We might want to grind up a little bit more. Um, so we're going to need some energy re laser relays. We're going to need coils, and we're going to need that. So we're going to need some gold with some nuggets. Cool. Um, hopefully... Ah, oh, an enderman. What are they doing here? Enderman? Hey. Beat it, buddy. I got no beef with you. Go on. Shoot. I don't know what he thinks he's doing in my base, but surely it can be good. All right, let's make a few of these and see if we can't get a basic one going. So I'm going to go with, let's start with four. Does that sound cool? So we're going to need four blocks of redstone. So we're actually doing all right redstone-wise. Um, we're going to need two advanced coils. I think we actually need four advanced coils. Okay. Let's upgrade these. We will get the advanced coil versions. Then we will get four energy laser relays. These are used to transmit uh, RF energy, but we're not using it for that. We want to upgrade these to item laser relays, um, which require an advanced coil, right? Um, so that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Cool. Um, and I can probably get a few more advanced coils because I get the impression we're going to need a lot of these. So item laser relay, advanced coils. Cool. Um, now I'm definitely going to want some advanced item laser relays, which needs another advanced coil, some black quartz, and some redstone crystals. I'm thinking three is going to be enough for now. And... We'll see how this goes. You know what? I'm, I'm going to get one more. Yeah, one more set of these. I think we'll be good. Um, so two more redstone blocks um, for these two. We're going to want... Let's convert these all to nuggets for now. One, two, three. Hopefully will be enough. I think we're short just a little bit. But we can upgrade these to item laser relays and then advanced. And we're going to need more what? Redstonia crystals if we want another advanced. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all, to be honest with you. Sweet. All right. So you to you to you. We need one more of these, I think. That will be one more of these. That will be one more of these. Cool, so we've got five advanced item laser relays and one item laser relay. Cool. So let's create an input chest that'll be responsible for, hey, when we've got items sitting here, we want them to route into the system. Okay, um, for that we're gonna want an iron chest probably. Let's get that and we'll get some wood. So the iron chest will serve as an input chest for now. This might change at some point. But that can be, so let's say I would come back from mining and here's all my resources. I'd want to deposit my ores somewhere. How about this back left corner, right? This we can call our input chest. And that's where we'll pop an item laser relay down here, right? Now the other thing we're going to need is a laser wrench, which is going to require two Inori crystals and an advanced coil. Not a big deal. 
And nori crystals come from iron in the atomic reconstructor. And I'm literally one nugget short. <laughs> one gold nugget short of being able to make the thing I need to make. Uh, I sense mining in my future. Uh, just a little bit. Gold nugget from anywhere that's like fancy. Nothing, nothing, nothing doing. Okay. So, uh, gonna mine for a minute. Hopefully I can find some gold. Let's get our mining bag here. That'll help. Boink. And we'll be right back. Thanks, Creeper. I didn't want that nice lawn anyway. Anyway, back from mining. So the theory is, and this is pretty much what we're working towards, is that we can come back from mining and just throw all our stuff right in here with a shift right click. And all of a sudden, all the stuff I collected while mining goes in this chest, and then it gets sorted throughout the base. All the gems and dusts can go into this chest. Um, all the ores will go down to be smelted somewhere. We haven't built the smelting area yet, but that's the kind of the concept, right? So I did get a little bit of iron, so we're going to go toss that into the smeltery now, which is going to, or I mean gold, obviously. So we got a little bit of gold. That's ideal. We'll let that stuff cook up and turn into gold ingots. We'll probably need to refill our lava at some point. We're getting close-ish. The other thing I'm going to do is get my crusher here and toss the black quartz ore in there. Let that crush up and do its job. Nice. I think we should be cool. You should be smelting gold. Perfect. I only need one gold ingot. I literally only need one gold nugget, to be honest, but, you know, such is my luck. All right, let's get that wrench that I wanted, the laser wrench. So we're going to need the, the this dude, followed by this dude. Sweet. Okay. Um, and then we need two Inori crystals, which are iron, hit by the laser. So let's go hit that up. One, two. It's iron, not... But that's fine. So that's cool. So we've got our Inori crystals. Check. We've got our advanced coil, and now we've got the laser wrench. Cool. So let's set this up. So we've got a basic item laser relay sitting on top of this chest. The basic item laser relay really doesn't do a whole lot of anything. Um, it's probably actually not even going to really go here because we need to put something else here. Um, what we're going to put here is something a little bit different, actually. Yeah, the basic item laser relay doesn't go here. Um, we're going to have our advanced item laser relays. That's these guys. We'll probably put them on top of all these chests. Cool. And they could go underneath, they could go behind, they could really go wherever. These guys, if you shift right click with an empty hand, you get a nice filter here where we can specify what's going to go in there. And if you want, you can even hit this smart whitelist, which will automatically fill the whitelist with all the stuff that's in there. Now this whitelist is kind of full for this chest. So what we'll probably want to do is make an item called an item filter. Neat. It's just iron bars around black quartz, which shouldn't be too much of a request. Uh, I think I've even got some iron bars over here, and we'll probably get a few more. Yeah, I have a few. And we can craft some as well. So I'm totally giving this system a chance to see how well I can manage to sort with it. So if I throw an item filter in there, and smart whitelist. Notice that the item filter populates with all the possible stuff that's already in the chest. You can also right click it in your hand to, to see what's in there. Awesome. So that's actually really, really cool and powerful. There's a lot of filtering we can do here. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, by So there's 24 slots in here and we can have a dozen of each of those. So 24 times 12 is the amount of filtering that you can do on what's allowed inbound to the chest. Outbound is what can be pulled out of the chest by some automated means. We'll get more into this in a minute. So what I'm doing is going down the line, I'm inserting a blank item filter, and I'm saying smart whitelist. And now it'll know what items I want to land in each chest. Cool. So item filter, smart whitelist. Cool. Tiny coal for now. And this one's currently got nothing in it, right? Um, now the last one I'm going to have down here will probably be like a default chest, but again, we'll set that up in a minute. Um, so right now we've configured these advanced item laser relays. They're cool. You can transfer items to them. But how do we do that? Well, we're going to need another block from Actually Additions. 
And that is the item interface, okay? That's a chest, some basic coils, and some redstonia crystals. So another decent amount of redstone is gonna be needed. And we're gonna convert probably another stack into redstonia crystals here. Um, I don't know that I need a full stack of redstonia crystals for what I'm about to do, but it'll be nice to have them. Hooray. So let's get the item interface. Uh, so we're definitely gonna need the chest and we're gonna want four of these fancy things called basic coils. Okay, and you guys and the item interface. Cool. So the item interface is basically the way to communicate and transfer items into or out of a network of chests all connected by advanced item laser relays. What we're about to do is build one giant network of storage. And you can think of these chests as one giant inventory, separated by what's allowed to go into them. The advanced, uh, or the item interface here is going to be able to interact with it. And it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's see how we're gonna manage that. So I'm gonna start with a basic mechanic and then we're gonna get more complex, okay? So what I'm gonna make first uh, is going to be pretty simple and straightforward. And it's going to require some iron, which I currently am out of, but shouldn't be a problem because there should be some in the house. Yeah, half a stack should be good for now. I want to show this with a basic mechanic and then we'll make it more complex. Okay, we're going to need an, uh, a hopper here. Cool. We're going to hopper into the item interface and we're going to put the iron chest on top. Then we're going to put our item laser relay on top of the item interface. This is going to be able to connect through the item laser relay system, the interface with all the advanced item laser relays over here. Neat, right? To do that, we simply right click and connect. Cool. Now we've got this fancy little laser zipping across my base. We're probably going to change it so that we don't have a laser showing up in my base all the time. But for now, just to give you the basic demonstration, I can. Now, I can either link these this way or I can link them across. It really doesn't matter. As long as, you know, one laser is connected to another laser somehow. So it really doesn't matter how that connection is stored. Neat. Uh, from there, any items that go into the item interface will be beamed through the laser straight over the advanced item laser relays, and it'll try to sort them based on the filters that we've currently got set. Now this guy in the end doesn't have a filter, so for now he's gonna be a default chest. I'm gonna go ahead and add um, redstone to this filter, so we can do that and do smart, and we've got it, cool. And uh, we can kind of go from there. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Uh, I'm also gonna put, maybe for now, I'll put the redstone crystal and the black quartz in here. So we'll smart whitelist that. So now when I put some redstone in here and some iron and some redstone crystals, what we should see happening is the hopper transfers them into the item interface and the item interface is sending them where they belong. The redstone should be going into this chest. Nice. And if we clear this backlog a little bit and even get a little less iron going in here, the iron should be winding up over here in this chest and the redstone crystal should be going in here. Sweet. So we've got the basics of a sorting system. Probably gonna make a couple more item laser relays and maybe put them on the roof so that the lasers kind of go across the ceiling and down. I think that would look really cool. So that way it's not kind of going across here like we see it. I think that would look really cool actually. And hopefully I'm right about that. Neat. So that's the basics of the system. We're gonna ramp it up here in a minute though. Back outside, we're uh, dealing with some of this quartz processing that I wanna do. I really do like this auto split items feature. That's awesome. Let's go back inside and I'm gonna make a couple more relays. All right, so I've got more basic item laser relays. What I think I'll do is put one on the roof here, one on the roof, maybe, maybe I'll put one here and here. This will kind of be neat looking, I think. So if I break this guy, I think right now the only way to disable connections like we saw, uh, like I just did, is to break and replace them. But I think there's gonna be a mechanic added soon that allows them to be, uh, to be handled. So if we look inside this UI, we can probably just put our item filter in there again and smart whitelist it. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, let's link all these lasers up to here. Does this look kind of cool? This one across to here and this one down to what's going to be the input chest. Nice, that should be cool. And eventually it'll, you know, spark out to the other two chests that will eventually be over here as well. This is probably 
the first iteration of a sorting system. We'll probably have several as we go throughout the series. Um, but this is a pretty early game one, and it works pretty well, actually. Um, I would like this to be faster than a hopper. So what I'm going to do is, let's see something that's ha faster than a hopper. I think an ESD would be faster than a hopper. All it requires is some wood and an Anori crystal. So that thing's actually really easy to make, and it works just like a hopper, which is awesome. So Inori crystal and wood casings are just wood and sticks and planks. I might need a couple planks, but that shouldn't be a problem, considering most of my trees should be grown. That'll do for now. Cool. So the ESD, the Ethereal System Dude, has a different name every time you look at it. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm going to need two wood casings. And then check ESD. LPEX slot device. Basically, it works just like a hopper, but you can very specifically tell it what items are allowed um, to come in from which side and go out which side. You can also specify inventories. So in this case, we really want it to be um, outputting to the north. So input from above, which has 54 slots. If we wanted to, we could filter on which slots are allowed to be pulled out of, but we're not going to. And we're going to push out to the north, which has a bunch of inventories, 324. That's crazy. Probably because it's adding up all the inventories from all these chests. That's really neat. Um, cool. So if we start sorting things, the best part about this is it moves a stack at a time. Awesome. So let's start like sorting stuff and see where it lands. Um, the best way to test a system like this is to just start sorting things and, like I said, see where it lands. Now, right now it's stuck because it doesn't have an unfiltered route to go down. Um, I think what I'm going to want to do is just make one more of these iron chests. So let's get some wood. This will probably eventually be larger. So I want to point out real quick, by the way, guys, that since this is set to a whitelist, but it's empty, nothing's allowed to go into this chest. Okay, if we want to let anything in there, we could do an empty blacklist. Or what we can do is use an item laser relay. The advanced ones are what have the filters. The basic ones have no filters. Advanced ones will always be a higher priority than basic ones. So by adding a basic one to the system here, it's going to be basically a default route. And anything that doesn't have a route will get placed there. Cool. So it just cleared everything out. That's awesome. It's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay. So we can sort stuff. And then what we can do is kind of figure out how we want to go from here. So what I'll probably want to do is clean up some of this. So I'm going to move these items. They're the ones that I'm going to want to add to something somewhere. So we'll put our gold nuggets and we'll put obsidian in here too. And glass can go into this inventory. So now all I have to do is open this up and smart whitelist these things. And what we should see now is glass will now get sorted into here. Beautiful. Let's go run across here and get a bunch of resources out of this thing. Because we're going to basically want to be able to sort all the stuff that we get. I think for now, I'll probably put any ores that need to be processed in some way, including Ardite, into this chest. So this will be my like to-do list for ore processing. Um, this will be dusts. So let's add you, you, Certus Quartz. That should be cool. And diamond and lapis. Okay. So then when I shift click this, we can smart whitelist it. And now all my dusts should sort appropriately into this chest. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, you had my to-do list for smelting. Uranium, I think, will include on that to-do list. Okay. So this is my to-do list for smelting. Uh, I think... Hey, you. Oh, I didn't do the whitelist. Haha, <laughs> derp. Smart whitelist. I need to put a filter in there. Item filter, smart whitelist. Cool. Now, you should sort appropriately. Beautiful. Uh, we'll put metals in here. Clay bricks can go in here. Saplings can go in here. Um, and we'll just want to smart whitelist this every now and then to update the filter. Nice. 
So I'm making another advanced item laser relay. I decided on a new chest type that I want, and this is going to be mob drop loots. So pretty much anything that monsters or animals drop will probably wind up going in here. Cool. So we'll add a filter, and we'll smart whitelist it, and kind of go on from there. Um, that's cool. So you are a mob drop, so you probably also belong in here. Smart filter it. Cool. Looking good. All right, we can sort all this stuff, and you should be sorting to the appropriate inventories at this point. For the most part, everything is pretty well sorted. I'll get this zombie flesh, because why not? It was nighttime and I slept. We'll kind of get the last of our uh, miscellaneous junk chest here and deal with it in a minute. All right, we're doing pretty good. So my mining backpack has a bunch of stuff in it still. Neat. Uh, we're gonna test my sorting system a little bit here. Um, this can go in here. This should really get voided, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll set up a trash can at some point soon. And uh, this crystal can go in with these guys, okay? So let's put this guy in here and the hoe can go in there. Let's just make sure all of our smart whitelists are kind of set. What's nice about this is it captures it as a point in time. So if like all the items are gone from the inventory, it still has them on the list. Cool. So you've got everything. That's actually looking really good to me. You've got all your stuff. So this is basically a plants and chests. Um, this is basically ingots. This is basically redstone. This is uh, unsmelted ores. Let's shift click this on here and let it sort appropriately. I imagine. You should be good. What are you having trouble with? Iron ore? Well, you probably could have gone to that one. So I don't know why you didn't, but iron ore really belongs in here. Smart. Nice. Okay, cool. So you kind of did your own thing, and that's good. Miscellaneous don't know where to go stuff should land over here, to be honest with you. Not 100% sure why it's not. Should be. Hold on, I know why. There we go, 432. Aha, now it's going over there. I had to upgrade um, what inventory slots it's allowed to be accessing. Once I added a chest, I had to update that. Interesting. Good to know. All right. Get in the hang of the actually additions item laser relay system. I'm liking it. It's definitely cool. Um, we're going to want probably a slightly more advanced sorting system at some point, but for now, this is actually really good. I think in future editions, there's the ability to set priorities, but for now, we're in pretty good shape with a basic sorting system. All we're going to need to know is that you know, this is the default chest. If it didn't know where to put it, it probably tossed it in here. This is a chest for all of our animal drops, and this is a chest of to-do, process these ores. Got it? Good. For now, it's time to wrap up the episode. So Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Maybe play with this item laser relay system a little bit more, but I think the next thing we should do is work on probably some RF power. Um, so I'm thinking we should get more than just one generator. We'll probably look into Ender IO for this because I think I'm going to, in the end, use uh, Ender IO for ore processing. So we're probably going to want to get a sag mill and an alloy smeltery and a few other things to process our ores. For now, Double 20 signing off. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the episode and take it easy.